Good afternoon, this is HorseracingNation.com handicapper J.R. Horak, and this is our video feature race of the week for Saturday, July 25th. It's going to be the 10th race from Saratoga, the Grade 1 Diana. For fillies and mares traveling nine furlongs on the turf course, we have a seven horse field, looks like a competitive race. Breaking from the inside post, number one, Teppen, three to one morning line. Uh, she has early pressing versatility. She'll probably try to stalk the pace, saving all the ground. She's coming off of uh, three consecutive wins. Uh, she won the grade one just a game. Uh, she won the grade two distaff turf mile, and then she won an optional claiming race. But they were all at shorter distances between eight and eight and a half furlongs. At nine furlongs, she's 0 for 2, so this is probably not her best distance. This is a tough competitive field, but she's sharp, she's versatile, and she's certainly a contender. Of the two, Stephanie's Kitten, 7 to 2 morning line, does her best running from off the pace. She was a disappointing fourth in the Grade 2 New York last time out. She was the heavy favorite, and she just she didn't really fire her best shot. She's run in the Diana before. In 2014, she finished second. In 2013, she finished third. I'm just not sure right, right now that, that she's as good as she was in the past, and, and she didn't win this race in the past. So uh, she's really going to have to be sharp and, and, and bounce back to top form if she wants to win this race. Kitten's Queen is the next one, 15 to 1 morning line. She likes to run close to the pace. She set a slow pace in the Grade 2 New York that we mentioned, uh, and she ended up finishing third. Now, the pace is going to be quicker. She's going to have to run quicker in the early going because you have my Miss Sophia in here who's, who's pretty quick early. So if Stephanie's Kitten, um, if Kitten's Queen expects to get out there, uh, she's going to have some company uh, close to the front end. And typically, if horses, if their pace figures go up, their final figure goes down, and she's going to have to run quicker early. Uh, the four hard not to like, five to one morning line, has some tactical speed. It came from off the pace to win the grade one gamely last time out. That was at Santa Anita on May 25th at this nine for a long distance. Uh, so coming off that nice win, and she's fresh as well. Um, I, I, didn't, I, don't, I wasn't particularly enamored with the field that she faced uh, in, the, in the gamely. I think this is a better group. I, I, I follow Southern California closely. Uh, I thought it was a little bit of a weaker renewal of the gamely, uh, but, she, but she did get the job done. Uh, she's going to have probably step up her game a little bit more if she wants to win this one. Waltzing Matilda at 8-1 to one morning line likes to come from, from off the pace, and this one won the grade 2 New York that we mentioned. But that was a 10 furlongs, so now she's going to cut back a bit in distance to 9 furlongs. Uh, if you look at her form, she does like 10 furlongs, and I think the longer the better for her, and, and, and nine furlongs isn't going to do her any favor. She's going to sit back, she's going to make a run, and she might just run out of ground. Uh, my Miss Sophia, number six, your five to two morning line favorite. She looked good switching, switching to turf last time for trainer Bill Mutt. Uh, she won a nine furlong optional claiming race, uh, which was, her, as I said, her, her turf debut. She won that in wire-to-wire -wire fashion on June 5th. Uh, so now in this race, she's stepping up in company, but, but she shows back class on, on dirt. And now that she's proven herself uh, to like the turf course, that was a nice easy win by more than four lengths last time. I think she's, she's the speed of the speed. She's, she's got more speed. Uh, as I said, Teppin, number one, has early pressing versatility. They're not, probably not going to go. A kitten's queen would be the one that could go with her, but I don't think that she can keep up with my Miss Sophia. So I think if my Miss Sophia gets out there and, and gets a nice lead, she's going to be tough to catch. But Bill Mott also trains number seven, Lady Lara. This one, 10 to one morning line, going to offer a lot of value, likes to run from off the pace. Well, she was fourth in the just a game, and she wasn't beaten uh, too badly in that one. Fourth in the Distaff Turf Mile, that was her worst race since she's come to the United States. Well, she did win the Honey Fox earlier this year off a layoff, and she is fresh and dangerous in this spot. Uh, she's going to run in a longer race uh, than she's typically used to, uh, but the average winning distance of the Sire, 7.7 .7 furlongs. Average winning distance on the Dam Sire uh, for the, the female side, 8.8 uh, .8 furlongs. So she's certainly bred to run in these longer races, and I think that this 9 furlong distance should be good for her. She's fresh, uh, she's going to be dangerous, and she's going to be my value top choice at 10 to 1 morning line. And this is how we're going to bet this race. We're going to make a $15 to win and place wager on number 7, Lady Lara. Then we're going to play a $5 exacta box, My Miss Sophia, number 6, and Lady Lara, number 7. The two stable mates, I think Bill Mott might have this one surrounded. He's got the speed, he's got the closer. So whichever way this, this race shapes up, uh, Bill Mott's going to have a good chance of winning this one. You can follow Horse Racing Nation and Derby Wars on Twitter. You can like us on Facebook. Uh, some, some good news for, for um, Derby Wars players. Survivor games are back. The, the popular Survivor games in, in the format of those tournaments, you just have to pick a horse that finishes first, second, or third. If, if they finish in the top three, you move on and you survive to the second race. Last man standing wins the prize. Uh, our big tournament uh, this week uh, for Saturday, July 25th, uh, a $25,000 game at DerbyWars.com. So if you want to play those Survivor games or you want to play that $25,000 game, go over to DerbyWars.com for more details. A uh, pick six blog, I'm going to have uh, Saratoga, a uh, late pick four tickets each Saturday through Monday. And then uh, Wednesdays through Fridays, I cover tickets from Del Mar. Uh, so if part of this Diana program 
are gonna, is going to be part of my late pick four tickets from Saratoga over at picksixblog.com. That'll wrap up this week's video. We'll be back next, ra- next week, probably with a graded stakes race from either Del Mar or Saratoga. Until then, good luck at the races.